next our department is central sterile service in this central sterile service css you all heard regarding cssd css technician all those category so css technician means uh, they will be having the bachelor degree in css technology or uh, that is associated degree in css technology minimum 2 year duration plus for getting a job in abroad in uh, they should have additional certification also that is international certifications certification by the board of sterile processing and distribution cbspd usa the either that certificate or international association of healthcare central service material management either this certificate is required after studying css technician you should acquire this certificates by uh, writing the exam for this uh, certification after that you should have two year post experience then you can apply for css technician license licensing in abroad then don't worry those who can't study after plus 2 after 12th standard maybe due to financial reasons or any other reasons if you couldn't uh, go for any courses then you also having a chance there are so many um, licenses you can get in ua or any other countries in that we can see that css a CSS aid the qualification is required is plus 2 after the plus 2 you should get a experience from the hospital um, and it should mention the practical training in CSS certificate confirming on job practical training after your 12th standard then after that you should have four year experience in CSS department central sterile service department if you have four year experience then you can apply for a licensing title in abroad CSS aid those who completed the plus 2 that is the, the thing then another department that is clinical dietics and nutrition in clinical uh, dietics and nutrition there are two category clinical dietitian and nutritionist clinical dietitian those who completed the bachelor bscc uh, bsc in dietics or a bsc degree in health science uh, in, a, in that uh, major nutrition equivalent of and a post graduate diploma or masters degree in dietics they can apply for clinical dietitian category Uh, then after the certificate issued it they should have two year experience um, in different uh, uh, like the title it is uh, known in uh, each country that is bachelor bsc uh, bsc in uh, dietics uh, bsc in uh, nutrition and dietics uh, bsc in uh, clinical nutrition and dietics uh, all these can apply for a clinical dietitian category and uh, bachelor in science in food and nutrition bachelor of science in nutrition nutrition and food technology they can and all apply for a nutritionist category nutritionist category they should have a bsc in science in uh, like bachelor of science in nutrition or a public health nutrition post qualification they should have two year experience that is regarding the clinical dietitian and the nutritionist category whenever you are studying a degree certificate uh, sorry degree certification or your bachelor uh, diploma certification you should make sure that that is internationally approved universities you are studying or your organization is approved nowadays we can see in data flow verification when we are doing there uh, i already made video regarding bss certificate bharat sevak samaj certificate bharat sevak samaj is providing so many allied health professional courses paramedical courses but unfortunately in 2019 onwards it is not getting approved by the uh, ministry of health in uh, all gulf countries they are not approving in european countries no problem but in gulf countries they are not approving bss certificates so If you studied in BSS, you can work in the India in India only. You can't go abroad. Uh, like uh, Gulf countries, you can't go. Same like that. If you are studying any diploma courses, to make sure that you are, uh, it is affiliated under state paramedical board. 
Suppose if you are studying in Karnataka State Paramedical Board, uh, sorry, Karnataka State, if you are studying, that um, college and your course should be affiliated by Karnataka State Paramedical Board. The certificate should be issued by Paramedical Board only, diploma courses. Then only it will be valid in uh, data flow verification. Same uh, like that, uh, I am surprised that the CMC Velour Hospital, those who completed their uh, diploma courses from CMC Velour, they got problem recently uh, that data flow is not approving their courses, diploma courses. But degree courses, it is they can conduct, but diploma courses, they are not affiliated like that and uh, it is not getting approved in data flow process. So make sure that you are selecting a proper course from a proper university that should be approved internationally. Next course is dental assistant. Dental assistant means assisting the dentist. Okay. So dental assistant category. Uh, nowadays, I can see here most of the dentists also studied BDS courses because there are lot, uh, job chances are less in UAE. I can find out that most of the BDS uh, like uh, candidates they are doing uh, dental assistant licenses. So uh, either BDS uh, person they can apply for dental assistant category or you should have diploma in dental assistant or diploma in dental nursing that should be minimum two year course duration then you can also apply for dental assistant license or registered nurse or assistant nurse they can also write dental assistant uh, exam and dental uh, assistant license you will also get uh, so the nurses who studied a diploma in nursing GNM uh, nursing so they can upgrade their title to dental assistant category if you need so you should you can work in dental clinic and uh, you should apply for dental assistant comparing to this uh, uh, salary difference also will be there you can apply for in that category but make sure that you you have enough knowledge regarding dental field better to take experience from the dental uh, clinic settings and after that you can uh, write the exam and get the licensing title for dental assistant so for bds applicant they don't want any experience after their internship directly you can join for uh, dental assistant there should not be gap in uh, like a uh, experience practice after internship soon if you want to join uh, in other countries you can apply for a dental assistant category then uh, for the um, those who studied a diploma in dental assistant program or diploma in the dental nursing uh, soon after uh, one year after the course you can uh, post completion one year experience is required for that the nurses they should have two year experience either uh, the BSc nurse or the diploma nurses they should have two year experience after nursing then they can apply for a dental assistant post Next category of the um, healthcare profession is dental hygienist. Dental hygienist, uh, we can say there is a BSc in dental hygiene uh, or either a diploma in dental hygiene, it should be minimum two year course duration. If you studied BSc in dental hygiene, uh, then you should have a two year experience post completion. And if you studied a diploma in dental hy uh, hygienist, uh, then you should have a four year experience to working abroad then next category dental lab technician bsc in dental laboratory technology uh, they should have a two year experience and uh, uh, completion of an accredited program in dental laboratory technology minimum two year course duration they, they can also uh, work as dental lab technician so two year diploma courses they should have a four year experience and a degree uh, persons BSc uh, dental lab technician they should have two year experience post completion to work in abroad then we have another category dental laboratory aid that is very important thing uh, those who completed the intermediate plus two they can apply for dental laboratory aid but after the plus two they should have two year experience in this uh, dental field if working in dental clinics um, and uh, all the settings they can work as dental laboratory aid 
so don't worry if you can't study after your 12th standard um, maybe due to finance or any other reasons you could not complete any medical courses you can work as a dental laboratory aid in a dental clinic so for that you should have 12th uh, completion any group is fine to uh, enter any co uh, like a commerce group arts group any group is fine you can um, select dental laboratory aid license here in uh, UAE and uh, or other Gulf countries you can apply. Uh, dental laboratory aid have to work under the dental laboratory uh, technician um, or dental assistant um, and they cannot assist the dentist. They should assist the dental assistant like that. That is dental laboratory aid. Okay, dental laboratory technician they are assisting but after 12 you can go. Then another course is electro neurodiagnostic technologist. That electro neurodiagnostic technologist uh, should have a BSc uh, degree in applied science. Uh, applied science in the sense of neurophysiology, BSc in uh, BSc in neurophysiology, BSc in biophysics, physiology. Uh, should have a three year duration courses and uh, associate degree minimum two year course duration. Uh, in the neurophysiology or technologist category like that and they should have uh, different uh, uh, registration it should be required international registration is required American Board of Registration of uh, Electroencephalographic uh, Technologist or Equivalent uh, like that so many uh, UK registration and the clinical uh, physiologist registration board of New Zealand all these uh, anything is required any one of the registration international registration is required to apply for a electro neurodiagnostic technologist license two year experience uh, post qualification in the related field is required in the hospital settings uh, I have experience in Saudi Arabia and UAE but until now I didn't find this uh, category of the medical professional in my hospitals um, maybe the neuro neurology related hospitals only they will be available electro neurodiagnostic technologist EEG technician that is electroencephalogram technician uh, they should complete the plus two uh, then after that one year after predicted uh, certification program in EEG technician program is there after the 12th one year program so after that you should have two year experience in the field of hospital settings for EEG technician then um, another category is uh, emergency medical service emergency medical service under that we have ambulance nurse emergency medical technician EMT EMT in that advanced paramedic then uh, EMT intermediate and EMT medical technician basic like that separate separate uh, licensing titles are there uh, so in the ambulance nurse uh, that is a uh, BSc nursing is required plus uh, they should have uh, other uh, ACLS pulse certification at all nurses will be knowing more regarding uh, other certifications and a two year experience as R is required uh, and uh, experience in the EMT uh, and ICU uh, or emergency department experience and all it is required for a nurse to apply for an ambulance nurse service. Then emergency medical technician courses are there. That is the internationally recognized uh, EMTP courses or uh, minimum two year course duration is uh, required for that. And they should have uh, other certifications, SLS, PALS, uh, PhD, LS certifications and all required for them. And two year um, post experience of, uh, qualification experience is required. Then uh, BSc degree in uh, emergency medical technology that also can be considered for emergency EMT technician. For EMT technician international accredited certification should be there. That is important thing. Another category of allied health professional is the genetic counselor. Genetic counselor should have BSc in medical science, BSc in psychology or a healthcare related field and MSc in genetic counseling is required. If you studied BSc in medical science or BSc in psychology, BSc in health, any other healthcare related field, but you should study MSc master in genetic counseling specialty. Then you can work as a genetic counselor. So after your MSc, you should have uh, two year experience in the settings.
so you can work as a genetic counselor another um, option is hair transplant technician hair transplant technician uh, that uh, they should study bsc or diploma three year course minimum in allied health uh, in emphasis on hair transplant it should be uh, like emphasis in on a hair transplant courses you can study bachelor degree or diploma degree or uh, the nurses who studied the bsc nursing uh, then they can uh, get the certification uh, like uh, uh, the training certificate uh, conducted in a licensed hair transplant center then training performed by licensed plastic surgeon number of cases performed per year minimum 20 cases then like that if getting the certificate then bsc nurses also can work as a hair transplant technician and uh, after this uh, certification sir the nurse uh, they should have a two year experience in the qualifi uh, post qualification and two year experience they can uh, get the license for hair transplant technician so hair transplant technician can work under the supervision of a plastic surgeon general surgeon or dermatologist directly they can't do any procedures but they have to do under the supervision of plastic surgeon general surgeon and dermatologist another field another field that is health educator health educator uh, that is a licensed healthcare professional by um, any authorities uh, we should have like uh, in uae especially we have a doh dha or moh any license we should have uh, then we should have the postgraduate uh, courses in education related like uh, BSc educator uh, courses are there or uh, MSc educator postgraduate courses are there in education health educator and that should be 12 month duration should be there the nurses who um, who are registered nurse they should study health educator course for 12 months then they can apply after this uh, course no need of experience in this field but we can apply for a health educator uh, license in UAE so in UAE especially health educator course uh, that is license is uh, uh, given by department of health Abu Dhabi only another course is laser hair reduction technician laser hair reduction uh, technician um, like uh, after the nursing, registered nurse or uh, diploma nurses or beauty therapist, they can study uh, the laser um, training course for hair reduction. So uh, you should be a licensed nurse, then you can and, uh, update your license title to laser hair reduction technician. So after the course, you don't want any experience also. For more details, you can contact me in WhatsApp for upgrading your licensing title to laser hair reduction after the laser training course.